Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 5th to the 11th of October 2020. So I hope you well Virgo. Let's do what we always do and get straight into the cards and pull your overarching energy for the week. Message for Virgo please, Angel Spirits Guides. Overarching message for Virgo. Oh. I've got two cards, interestingly enough, that fell on the, t on the table. So I have the Ace of Cups and then the Seven of Cups. Okay, what is the message for Virgo, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. So I'm using all Marchetti Tarot decks this week and I'm using uh, Karen Kay's Oracle cards. Message for Virgo, please. Oh, thank you. Patience. Okay, message for Virgo, please. Angels for the week. What does Virgo need to hear, please? 5th to the 11th of October 2020. That flew out. But we have success. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, Virgo, so I have, I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is you. Second card is your challenge. Third card is advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Virgo, please. Angels, spirits, guides. What does Virgo need to hear? Thank you. 5th to the 11th of October 2020. Oh my goodness, Virgo, what is going on? <laughs> I've got the Ace of Cups again. <laughs> Very beautiful, one of the most beautiful cards in the tarot deck. You've got it twice now. Your challenge, Virgo, the Knight of Cups. We have the Eight of Swords as advice from Spirit, and then the Three of Wands in your outcome. Okay, let's clarify the cards on the table. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Virgo. Ten of Cups, oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. So the Knight of Cups is clarified, um, Virgo. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> this is so beautiful. Uh, the Eight of Swords is, is clarified by the Death Card. And the Eight of Wands is clarified, is clarifying the Three of Wands. Bottom of the deck, I have the Two of Swords. Okay, okay. Virgo, it feels like some of you are it, it feels either there is there can be somebody new coming into your life, but it feels feels also like there's a a proposal coming your way. It feels like a proposal. So we have the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is, is hope, dreams, wishes. And one of these cups is 
part of the hopes, dreams and wishes. I mean, it's beautiful. Sometimes there can be a confusion, making choices, decisions, deciding on what you want, maybe which way you want to go. And the message is trust your intuition with the cups energy in particular to make choices, decisions. It is sometimes a karmic choice because that there is Scorpio energy in here. So it feels like this decision will may have consequences, good or bad, obviously. So, but maybe there's some confusion in terms of making a choice towards what offer you're getting. This is the cup of joy is absolutely being offered to you. It's three times here, Virgo, um, that it's appeared in your reading. So it feels like someone's making you an offer. It's a new beginning. It feels to me like a proposal here. Yeah. Nice card of success. I mean, this is so beautiful. It might be something that you've been waiting for here because there's a level of patience as well. But there also feels that there's some confusion or some choice to make that might resonate for some of you. What's very clear is it's either someone new is coming into your life that is going to be your future partner because we have the Ten of Cups, which is about, it can be marriage, long-term commitment, building a home, a life together, a family together. It's the happy ever after card. So it can mean somebody new is coming into your life, offering absolutely true love. I mean, it really is. But like I said, it feels like this is a proposal as well. Because it feels like a marriage proposal. The Knight of Cups in the challenge position can be somebody who's procrastinating a bit about offering you or making you this offer. Um, and that has been the challenge position here. It might well be your procrastinating, you know? Might well be a bit of that energy here. Uh, sometimes the Knight of Cups can be over, over overactive imagination. Uh, yeah but it definitely feels in this energy here virgo that there's some powerful offer that's coming your way it's a beautiful beautiful energy the knight of cups is a card of pisces death we have scorpio um i think they're the only cards really on the table but it definitely feels for some of you that your challenge might well be is this what i want are you overthinking this you know this is about really connecting to your intuition and deciding on that basis. Is this something that I really want? Um, and there may well be some time that you need to decide this because it, it is bringing in change. This opportunity is absolutely bringing in deep change. It is closing off one part of your life and bring, heralding a new, a new part of your life. And again, the Ace, the Ace of Cups is a rebirth energy, as is the Death card. Uh, there's a feeling of the old, it, this offer is, it might well be for some of you that you are stepping away from the old into the new. It's beautiful energy. Again, this, this Eight of Swords, it feels like you're in your own head a little bit. This can be inhibited thinking. Um, sometimes happens when you're a little bit overwhelmed here, Virgo, so you might well feel this energy here. Um, but there's a powerful change coming your way, and it feels a powerful positive change that this, this Ace of Cups is representing. So again, I'm going to say it, it could be a proposal um, it could be somebody asking you to live with them, move in together, build a life together. That could be the option as well here because it is the happy ever after, um, happy home, the Ten of Cups. It's the rainbow of blessings. Uh, building a life together it is a card of productivity. So it definitely feels in this energy for some of you that changes on the cards. It might well be, you know, I mean, the, the Eight of Wands I sometimes see as a distance relationship. That might well be relevant for some of you. Um, 
This is about change, movement, incoming news, a conversation leading to something solid. So again, it, it feels that what you've been working towards, what you've been taking action towards, it feels like something good is coming your way. And that's what this Three of Wands is saying, what you've been working towards. And that's why I'm feeling it's a current relationship more. I mean, like I said, it's a general reading for some of you. It could be somebody new, but it definitely feels like a, a current relationship for me that's going to the next level. And again, we have the Two of Swords, which is about indecision. So there's a message of you don't have the full facts of the situation. You don't feel like you're ready to make a decision here. Again, this Seven of Cups is, this is absolutely something connected to your hopes, dreams and wishes. But it's also a, a decision that you need to think about seriously. And clearly it is. I mean, that's understandable. So there's a message of, of patience is needed, but I think the idea, your decision will become clear. So sometimes the Two of Swords is just when I have to weigh up my options. I have to, I mean, you might be asking, you, you might need to move. I mean, sometimes the eight of, of ones can be about travel. Um, I mean, it, this might resonate for you. Um, but it's incoming opportunity, most definitely. Uh, incoming change, movement, things shifting very quickly. Something that might be out of the blue that is going to change your world. Now, it feels like it's something that you've been waiting for or definitely something that you want to consider, but it might well be you just need a little bit of time to consider it, Virgo, which is absolutely understandable because it feels like it's some kind of, it, well, it is a big change. I mean, we've got the death card here. It is heralding a period of big change, um, but a nice one, if you know what I mean. So very powerful, beautiful, gorgeous energy. I can't believe you've got three, three Ace of Cups. <laughs> it's definitely... I mean, Three Ace of Cups is such happiness, joy, contentment, satisfaction, uh, true love. I mean, it feels like such true love, you know? Um, so powerful, powerful, beautiful energy. Yeah. Let's get an advice card. Oh, interesting. I don't really need to. Again, there's a feeling here of this is bringing deep change. The death card is out with the old in with the new. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we've got the marriage card. So again, the faith card is trust you're being guided, but it can be a card of marriage. Uh, like I said, it could be a proposal. Six of Wands is somebody who's feeling good about it. Whatever confusion you have, it feels like you're going to make your mind up and you're going to feel good about it. There's a sense of achievement. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely feel for some of you. Uh, and again, the Six of Wands is recognition by others as well. So it, it feels like there's some sense of achievement, uh, success, public recognition, um, progress you know, a milestone, a level of success. You kind of get what I'm saying, Virgo, and it, it's something to feel really good about. You feel good about this. So I feel whatever confusion that you've been, you've had, you're gonna find the answer to it, and things are gonna become clear in which way you wanna go. But it's a beautiful, beautiful energy here. Okay, final message for Virgo, thank you. Final message for Virgo. Oh, lots of there is so much energy on the t on, in these cards. Um, understandably, when three Ace of Cups appear, so we have the Moon energy, surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, oh my goodness! <laughs> if you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. And I think you're going to get that peace of mind, wisdom. You're going to find the answer. So have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with the challenge and you're going to overcome it. It doesn't feel like a big challenge here. It really doesn't. So I hope you enjoyed the reading Virgo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and um, yeah, 
I'll see you next time. Thank you.